Welcome everyone to this new tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at the compositor inside of Blender and more specifically the Cryptomates. Um, it's a thing that allows you to edit or let's put it that way, to create mask um, for only certain objects or materials inside of your scene. Um, how to turn them on, it's pretty easy. So you want to go over here on the right tab and then go to your view layer properties and scroll down to the bottom where you will see Cryptomate. It might be folded down like this, so just open it up. And then you have three categories. So you have object for creating masks uh, from a whole object, uh, material for the material. For example, if I were to select the car paint here, I all my objects, even though they're separated, um, would have the same mask. And then you have asset for like parented things, uh, could be useful for the wheels if you have multiple objects that are all parented together. Um, for me, I will just go ahead and select the material only, but you can always just turn all three of them. Then you want to render your image and we're going to jump over to the compositing tab, just like here. And then I have my basic compositing setup. Um, if you're just starting out with your scene, you may not uh, you may not have the denoise. Um, that will be for another video, but there are already a ton of them explaining how to install it. Okay, so I'm just going to plug that in the viewer as well. And now you can see that the car looks pretty dull. The main advantage um, for the cryptomates is, like I said, to isolate some parts of your image. And I'm going to show you how to do that so we can adjust the color only of the car paint to make the car pop a little more. So I'll just add a crypto mate node. And then you can see over here that we have the render, you can pick your scene. Um, and over here with the mate ID, this is where you pick uh, the selection of what you will do um, with the crypto mate. So I will press the plus button over here and over over my image. And you can see that the we have the name of the material because I have the material cryptomate set and I'm going to pick the car paint. Now, if we press control shift right, uh, left click, sorry, um, with node regular add-on activated, you can see that here it doesn't do anything because we don't have the image plugged into the image. But yeah, this is what it does. We isolated the core paint, and then if you go to mate, you will see that it's a black and white version, very useful for creating masks. And here you can see um, the different groups of the selection, and you can press multiple objects into that mask. So for example, if I wanted to boost the exposure of the whole car, then it would be very easy to just pick the materials. Obviously, it may not be the uh, best method, I would probably go use the asset and parent everything to, for example, the body of the car, just so it's easier for me and I don't have to pick all of them individually. So let's just remove the carbon fiber like so. And you can see that it disappeared over here. And now uh, let's do this. Uh, okay, I'm going to use an RGB curves just like that. And that will allow us to push uh, to like different levels, uh, adjust the color of the carpet. I'm just going to use a mix. Uh, I think it's a mix. I'm not using the compositor all that much, to be honest. And then we want to use the mate because that's the black and white version as a factor. Okay, so uh, let me just flip them over just like so. Okay, perfect. And now, uh, yeah, because um, we use the mate as a factor, so basically it will use uh, the black and white values to tell, okay, which part of the image do I use for uh, the top input and the bottom input. So yeah, let's plug that back in. And obviously this part is not denoised now, but you could just put it over here. And actually let's do a test and see if we can use the denoised image instead. Yeah, it works. Okay, so even better. Uh, do it like this instead. Plug the denoise if you have one and then 
plug it into the CryptoMate. Perfect. Now we can start messing with the RGB curve. So this is for contrast, this is for red, green, and blue. Uh, let's try to just pump up the blue. It will take a few seconds, obviously, the compositor is not that fast, but you can see that we increase the blue, maybe a bit too much. And yeah, I won't play with it too much because that's not really the point of the tutorial. I just wanted to show you the power of cryptomates and how you could use them um, as masks. That's how I use them. Um, I'm sure there are many more things you can do with them. You can use them, for example, to isolate certain part of the image and use a clear nodes only on some parts of it. For example, if I use it over here, we will only have the glare node for the background and the other objects that are not a part of the car. So like a little bit of fog glow instead. But you can see that very quickly, this is a very powerful tool. Um, I could isolate this even more by selecting only the background of the scene and then only have the glare shining on the background instead of on the headlights if I think those are a bit too intense. So that's about it for the tutorial today. It's a very quick, but I hope it's very helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I will be happy to answer them as always. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. I just realized that I forgot to tell you that the mate uh, that we use to create the mask may not be perfectly black and white. And what you can do to isolate even more um, the mask is use a matte node set to multiply and then crank the value to something uh, higher than one. And this should help with creating a mask that is whiter and um, that isolates better the selection that you wanted. Peace.